Hey guys, it's Marvin again, back with another video tutorial. This time we're going to actually talk about um, how to create a knowledge base that looks kind of like, oops, this one. Alright, so this is our default knowledge base and you can obviously customize the header color, you can add a logo, um, there's how, to, how we can help that you can change through text customization, um, there's a search bar, and knowledge base articles grouped by topics and articles. Okay, uh, so topics are just, you know, the hierarchy, the higher hierarchy, and you'll be able to create as many of those as you want. So referral and affiliate programs, there are a bunch of articles in here. And if you go to general help, there are a bunch of articles listed in here. And if you go into a specific article, you can obviously embed, you know, images and videos and, and text content. Now to, uh, to be upfront, Reamaze doesn't have any file hosting uh, services. So for all the images and videos that you want to embed into your knowledge base article, you'll have to uh, upload them somewhere else first. Um, so for videos, we recommend YouTube or Vimeo. And for images, uh, we personally, you know, host the files ourselves, but you can use like a third party uh, solution like Imgur or something. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about how to create a knowledge base article like this. And then we'll kind of talk about how to change the text and and the header colors and, and fonts and all that. So we're in the Reamaze demo dashboard now. And let's start off with articles. Go ahead and click on that. So articles are all you know organized by topics and then topics are, or, are organized by brands. So right now under brand, we have you know several different brands. Uh, for this one, let's use demo one, two, three. Uh, demo one two three doesn't have a knowledge base article uh, th doesn't have a knowledge base yet so we'll need to create some topics and then we'll need to create some new articles so since there's nothing found we'll go ahead and create a topic and we'll call this topic um, ABC one two three I'm not very creative all right go ahead and click on create topic and now you'll see that there's a topic here um, under by topic, but we're looking at the, de uh, the demo one, two, three brand anyways. And you'll only see, if you filter it down to that brand, you'll only see ABC one, two, three. So now we'll create a new article and we'll do the ABC one, two, three topic. And we'll call this article X, Y, Z, one, two, three. Okay. And we'll put in some content there. We'll, we'll do hello world. Okay and the draft status will be published or internal. So for published, this will be you know hosted on the, uh, the public site that you created earlier. And for internal, that means it's only going to be for internal references only. That means agents who are logged into their Reamaze dashboard can come to the, the article section and read the internal articles that are available. For now, we'll put it as published. Um, the author is Chris Dunnan. We'll create the article, okay? And then now you can view the article. Uh, let's, before we do that, let's go ahead and make sure that the public site is enabled for demo one, two, three. And we can see that right now it is enabled because it's saying to disable, so we don't wanna do that. Let's go to the article section again. Okay, we'll go to demo one, two, three, the brand. Um, here's the XYZ one, two, three topic. Okay, let's go ahead and click view articles. It's gonna open up. So, okay, hello world. All right, let's go back to the topic. This, these are breadcrumbs up here. So if we click on ABC123, oh, because there's only one one article under ABC123, uh, which is XYZ123, that means only one article is gonna show. Uh, to better demonstrate this, let's actually create a new article under the ABC123 topic. We'll call this one um, OPQ123, okay, hello world. We'll also publish this one, create article. All right, now let's view this article and close this one off. So, okay, now let's click on the topic and you'll see that there are two articles in this topic. One is called OPQ123, one is called XYZ123. And if we go back even one step further, knowledge base, now we're back to the knowledge base section. Okay, hopefully that makes sense so far. So let's go ahead and show you how to change this header color, okay? So now that we've created um, all the articles, we're gonna go to settings. And because knowledge base actually belongs to your brand, 
So the um, demo one, two, three would be the brand name. So let's go to brands. We're under brands, demo one, two, three. And here's the hosted KB site settings. Okay, we're gonna wanna click on appearance settings. And here's where you customize everything. So give it a second to load. So header background color by default is the kind of gray color. We can change this to like a nice, I guess maroon. I think that's what you call maroon. Uh, I think white looks good on red. So do that. And the header logo link, that's, you know, when people click on the uh, this link right here, or if they click on this logo right here, that's where you want to take them. Um, some people prefer, you know, back to the knowledge base. And some people prefer taking people back to the homepage, um, whatever, you know, maybe it's it's a it's the homepage for your app, the homepage for your store, could be anything you want. So that's where you would enter it here. The hero background color, let's also change this, let's change this to like a like a blue, a purple. Okay. And we'll just click update brand. All right, let's go ahead and refresh this. All right, so now you'll see that the, the header is red. The maroon color text is white. Um, the hero header color is purple. Oh, uh, I guess we should have changed this this text to gray or to white as well. Let's make sure to do that. Click update, and we'll do a refresh here. Okay, so that's stuck. Actually, looks pretty good. Right now, you can um, do all the styling stuff here as well. So you can change the font, um, article styling. But to get a little bit more advanced, um, you actually want to go back to brands again. And for the demo one, two, three, you'll want to click on see all settings. Okay. Now, under all settings, hosted KB site settings, this is where you actually get a little bit more technical. Um, so you can still customize the appearance settings here. Um, the other link that we clicked on was just a shortcut link. Uh, but if you want to use your custom domain, that's where you would set it up here. You can customize their header and footer with your own CSS styles. That's where you would enter you know, header HTML, footer HTML, and uh, custom CSS style sheet, as well as meta tags if you want to use them. Okay. And there are um, custom analytics that you can enter and text customization. So text customization for your knowledge base is pretty handy. So let's say you don't want to say, you know, welcome to our support center. You wanted to say something else. That's where you you know you would go to text customization, and under um, let's go down. So KB articles. You know what? It might be easier if we just do a search for this text here. So we'll do this. We'll copy it. Okay, and then we'll do a, a search. Oh, here it is. Tagline. Ha, duh. All right, let's close this off. So welcome to our support center. We'll want to change this to um, find a useful article below. Okay. In the search, instead of search for a topic or article, what are you looking for? Okay. You can change all of this. And this supports different languages as well. Um, so you can change this to Chinese if you want. Um, but we'll leave it for English right uh, for now. Let's go ahead and click update first. Let's make sure we're looking at the right thing. All right, refresh. Okay, so find a useful article below. And what are you looking for? Now, obviously there's a contact us here that you can change, um, not finding what you're looking for. This you can change, contact us directly. You can change all of that is under text customization. So you wanna spend a little bit of time here just to make sure you have everything set up the way you want it, okay? Okay, now let's go back to KB. This is one thing I forgot to show you. So you can actually sort um, all your KB articles as well. So let's say you're looking at your KB site and you don't like the way, you know, this topic is here. And then if we have another topic, it's on, it's on this side and the, the articles are all wrong ordered. But you can do that uh, just by clicking sort articles and topics. So just click on that. And, you know, you can, for the topics, you can, you can drag and drop. Um, this is for Daffy Widgets. This is for demo one, two, three. Um, for but for this per, for this demo, we'll just you know you can drag and drop the ordering on these, and then you can actually sort the articles as well. Just you know drag and drop them the way the order that you prefer. When you're done, click hit done sorting. Okay, and then that should reflect um, on the knowledge base uh, in question. Okay, so that's um, a, a very simple tutorial on how to create your knowledge base. Um, you can get a you know, you can get very technical, and uh, I can actually show you one of our 
um, customers knowledge bases. Oops, my oh, it's kb dot animatron dot com. Okay, so this is actually um, the embedded ReMA's knowledge base. And as you can see, they've customized this heavily with HTML and CSS and also changed the all the text customization things. So they're saying search here, search on knowledge base. And, you know, it looks very stylized. Everything is ordered, ordered very neatly. Um, their topics have a different font size, different, you know, font. And all their articles are in here. And they can actually see that there are embedded videos in these articles as well. All right, so um, that's pretty much it for creating your knowledge base. If you have any questions, uh, need further guidance, or even have feedback on how some of this stuff works, make sure you shoot us an email at support at Thanks.